On debate, Senator McCullum. Honorable Senator, speaking from the perspective of a Cree Isquil, a woman, this bill enables our youth to voice concerns about the future of their world expressed with intelligence and critical thinking. There is a traditional Northern American native saying that could help us all. We must plan our path, not just for this generation and the next, but for seven generations to come. The youth over these past many years have been voicing concerns about the state of Mother Earth, a reality we have arrived at through adult-driven decisions. It is time we work with our youth, those who will inherit this earth. Psychological and cognitive social science studies from the last decade demonstrate that youth as young as 14 develop adult level complex reasoning skills that enable them to make voting decisions of the same quality as adults and international jurisdictions where voting ages have been lowered below 18 have reported that youths are an engaged and informed voting group. Colleagues, we must embrace the fact that there is no compelling justification that exists and continue to subvert our youth's voices. Instead, we must listen to them and support them in becoming thriving global citizens. Colleagues, our youth have been told countless times that they are the leaders of tomorrow, that they are our future. Let us not be afraid to back up these platitudes with concrete action lest we simply be paying them lip service. What better and more meaningful a way to do so than supporting an initiative that compels them to become civilly engaged and active Canadians exercising the right to have a say in their lives and their futures. Imagine the positive evolution our society would experience if our youth were allowed the right to a vote, bringing with them clear eyes and a fresh perspective. Changing the voting age to 16 will go a long way in ensuring we are all working towards a strong and sustainable future for all. Thank you.